We are dealing with criminals, international bioterrorists, treasonists, and I'm not backing down. These people are bloody sick. They're psychopaths, they have atrophied whatever it is in the back of their brain, they have no, no feeling for anybody. Now, this can be fixed at least in Australia, but you might not understand it, women are the ones to do it. Women can do it because women are the ones that politicians are bloody frightened of, you know? You can do it. now. When people say we need more testing, anybody who says that is in bloody dreamland. The testing has been done. Heaps of bloody testing all over the world. What Arpad Pustai, what he found out in Britain, what that bloody idiot at CSIRO, TJ Higgins discovered about the mice. It, you go to Genetic Roulette, page 57, first three paragraphs, what that idiot found out and now he's pushing GM. These people are psychopaths and criminals. That idiot at Melbourne University, Rick Roush, they need a kick in the bum, those people. Now, now, don't, don't, don't be frightened of calling them criminals because you can prove that they are criminals. G'day, my name's Jacob. I'm here at the State Library in Victoria and I'm here with a couple of lovely ladies. Um, would you like to tell us why you're both here, please? Yeah, um, we're just fighting for uh, genetically modified food. Uh, so we're trying to get at that out of our... Um, out of our supermarkets, uh, basically we're fighting for the right to uh, know um, that our food is genetically modified as well. Um, my name's Lisa and uh, we're here to create awareness around um, what Monsanto produces and the impact on, that, on the environment and on our health. Um, we're fighting for the right to know what's in our food. At the moment it's very covert, it's very hidden. Um, we want labelling and we basically we would like it banned because we know that it's dangerous. We don't want it in our food. Definitely not. We definitely want it banned but labelling is a, a good start. At the, very, at the very least label it so that we have the right or we have, we have a choice. We can make a choice. At the moment we have no choice. So, yeah. Oh, it's, it's, it's great that you're here and thanks for all of your support. I want to talk to you about the corporate warfare that is being waged across the planet by companies like Monsanto. It's clearly a mutant multinational corporation from its production of ancient orange to its attempts to control our food from what we grow to how we grow it and to how we eat it. I want to talk to you about the Trans-Pacific Partnership Agreement that I've been pushing about and talking about for two years and that 12 governments are trying to sign off on by the end of this year. The TPP is the biggest threat to our democracy that you've probably never heard of and Monsanto is smack bang in the middle of it. The Trans-Pacific Partnership agree Agreement is being spearheaded by the USA. It includes Australia, Canada, New Zealand, Brunei, Mexico, Peru, Chile, Singapore, Malaysia, Japan, Vietnam, and uh, there are other countries that are waiting in the wings. It's the last big agreement they're going to put together and they're going to stitch it up in a way that we have never seen before. So don't worry about getting GM labelling. When they're done, we won't be able to choose even what we legislate against. So what's going on is Monsanto is smack bang in the middle of helping 600 corporate advisors to write the secret text of the TPPA. The kind of corporations involved in this skullduggery include Walmart, Monsanto, Pfizer, Halliburton, Chevron and GE. And that's just to name a few. You can see where I'm going with that. Environment, land, corporations, continuous war, starvation, destruction. The TPPA will enable Monsanto to sue the Australian government if we dare to introduce legislation that may threaten their terms of investment or future profitability. If we don't stop the TPPA, Monsanto will not only control industrial agricultural farming, it will own our food supply and it will control the ways in which our government legislates to protect us from harm, from environmental protection to coal seam gas to GM labelling. So this is about herbicides, pesticides, control of land, control of resources, all done in secret, behind closed doors, headed by the United States of America. 
What I'd like to say to you is the reason that we're talking about this today is because forcing Monsanto to lay, label GM products means nothing if we don't stop this kind of agreement. We need to start talking to our partners and we need to start talking to our politicians and we need to understand that the USA is trying to stitch up the control of all partnering countries' domestic law and hand it over to multinational corporations. It's a secret agreement and it's about maintaining the US empire, global implementation of corporate laws and corporate wars. And this is what we face if we don't deal with it. So I urge everyone here today, while you're talking about banning GM uh, products and talking about labelling, go to your politicians and your local council and your, and your federal members and also talk to them about why this is being done in secret. We must force them to bring it out into the light, to release the text and to debate it in our parliament. The Greens have already made a push for this through a Senate inquiry with Senator Scott Ludlam, but it's not enough. Because if this goes through, Monsanto is but one part of 600 corporations that will take control of our democracy. Thank you. Now, women especially, what you must do is organise groups of women. Because women have got networking. And politicians are frightened of women because they know women will change their vote. Right? And hell hath no fury, as the story goes. So we need women. Big mobs, plenty fella lots. Now... Now, um, what you do is you go, you get a groups, a couple of groups, even for one politician, coming in in waves, and we, you make an appointment. They must talk to you. They are your public serpent, remember? They must talk to you. You've got to treat them, treat them like the bloody scum they are. They're selling us out down the gurgle and our children and all. And then you say, the relevant minister is the prime minister, the opposition leader, every one of them, and you get this to them, and we want feedback. Or... The women's networks will knock them out. We need the women because you're the ones that talk to each other. And when you come back, the little scumbag will say, I've passed it on to the relevant minister. Bullshit. You are our minister. We voted you in and forget, baby, finito la musica. You're out. We're here in front of Flinders Street Station. This is a Monsanto protest. The date is the 12th of the 10th. 2013. This is the second big protest that um, um, against Monsanto, March against Monsanto this year. The first one was in May. This one's had a great turnout. There's a lot of there's a lot of um, there's a lot of passion here, and uh, food is life. So what we have to remember is that even Monsanto themselves actually ban genetically modified food from their own corporate cafeterias. GMO Frankenfoods are messing with your flow. Our DNA gets messed around and up tumours grow. Many scientific tests covered up, don't you know? Watch out, beware this GMO in your cookie dough. Labelling of foods, their lobbyists say no. We complain to politicians, but it's just a puppet show. An environmental hazard GMO is to sow. Liability lies with evil Monsanto! Woo! We're starting a new campaign today which is being launched nationally and I want to tell you just a fraction about it. Monsanto's licensee New Farm is lobbying to have the allowable levels of Roundup in our food increased from the 3 uh, milligrams per kilo to 20 milligrams, almost a tenfold increase. This is not a good sign and particularly as we have it sprayed in our playgrounds and our school grounds and our parks and roadsides as well. So we're really looking for everybody to collect signatures to show that we as the general public of Australia do not like having this food forced upon us. And really what we're asking for is quite simple. We want no more GM foods. What has been recently approved is a GM soy that can be sprayed with 2,4-D, so that's one of the ingredients in Agent Orange, and Roundup, which is the active ingredient is glyphosate, and also a chemical called glufosinate ammonia. So it can be sprayed with these three um, uh, weed killers, and then we end up eating that and feeding it to our children, and it will not be labelled. Now, really, is that food? So where we're saying we know on no more food approvals like that one has, that has just gone for it through. We, and so um, no new cropper approvals. So what's happening is we received um, 
notification that our food standards body, Fazants, was sending around information about lucerne. Now, lucerne is mainly an animal feed, so why are they sending it around in the, the human food stuff? Well, it might accidentally end up in our food. And what this um, GM crop is, it's low lignin, which means um, lucerne is an animal feed, it gets woody, it's a perennial, so what they want it to do is to not get so woody over the years. The way that they're doing that is a genetic modification that silences genes. This is quite new technology, and we have been told, so in the application it says, there's loads of this um, double-stranded RNA, which is a mechanism which silences it, which I won't go into, but basically this stuff's all over the place in nature, therefore we don't have to test it. But what they have found out recently is bees that were fed this stuff and they expected to have no effect on the bee at all because it didn't have any DNA that was relevant to what it was being fed. 10% of their genes function diff differently after they've eaten this stuff. So I think that we need to be very, very clear that when they say, oh, it's all scientifically tested and we know what we're doing, they have no clue. <laughs>